So on this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to link that report center with the dashboard and how to fetch the information from different table and present that information onto the report. So that's what we are going to do. If you are interested in watching this video, learning about it, then stick around and let's get started. So this is the continuation of the previous video as I demonstrated at the start of this video that we are going to link these two buttons with the reports and we are going to link this report center to our main form. So let's go ahead and do that. And first of all, I need to change this name C-E-N-T-E-R should be C-E-N-T-R-E. -E. So that's the right name for center so we'll uh, go to the um, design view and we will come here and this i realize after recording the last video and uh, once we are done with that we will change the name here as well okay all right now let's move on and basically for these two buttons we are looking for these two reports and for these two reports we will see what is the criteria that is set at the moment so we'll right click design view we'll go to the data tab we'll go to the uh, dot 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 and we'll scroll towards my right and we'll see there is one criteria that is set at the moment it is fiscal month and it is just a question mark so as i explained in the previous video and again if you haven't watched you should watch it so you know what's what i'm doing and so as i explained in previous previous video we are going to get rid of this question mark and we are going to give a proper referencing of the uh, combo box or field where we are uh, from where we are get the information going to get the information so general rule whenever we say fiscal month is a criteria we should give fiscal year criteria as well okay that makes sense so forms and we are going to refer to the combo box that uh, has the information fiscal year in the report center forms uh, report center and uh, exclamation mark and then we have um, the cbo fy that's the name okay then uh, forms exclamation mark report center exclamation mark cbo fm that's it that's the reference we have to give and now when we run this report every time it will ask hey give me the year give me the month then i will show you the data okay before i move on let's uh, do the formatting as well and we'll go to the other tab we'll make it as a pop-up model we'll go to the format tab we'll make it auto center yes and we will show scroll bars vertical only and we will make this as show margins as no okay so that's the setting i wanted to do now before i move ahead and do the vb coding uh, let's move on to this report as well and we do kind of similar thing so we go to uh, design view and we go to data tab dot 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 and in here at the moment there is nothing no criteria this is for the month so we'll uh, oops oops all right okay and we will get the id for the year as well because this is where we are going to refer to so at the moment there is nothing no criteria but basically this report uh, is generated for um giving the information from january till december what is the salary that we have given so we'll uh, give the criteria under the year column so we'll go to the design view and we'll give a criteria here. forms exclamation mark report center exclamation mark and this will be cbo fy all right now that is done so like we did the formatting for previous report let's do the same let's repeat it model yes format uh, and auto center yes scroll bars will make it vertical only and show margins nope that's the setting i wanted to do now 
since we are done by uh, done with uh, doing all of the stuff that we wanted to do with these two reports we'll move on to report center we'll go to the design view and we need to do vb coding behind these two buttons so first let's start with this so we'll go to the event tab on click event code builder dot 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 and we get the error handling first and we'll say on error resume next okay now with this button we are going to open this report that means this report carries two criteria parameters and we will set that logic first and we'll say if is null me dot cbo fy dot value equals true then do cmd dot beep and message box please choose the year okay simple as that comma we be critical comma that would be information now we do that we repeat the same thing with a month so we'll say else if me dot cbo month and cbo fm sorry and we'll say please choose the month and rest remain same if it is false then just simply say do cmd dot open report and what report it is it is payroll mdr so we'll copy the name of this report oops we don't want you to open okay here we go and uh, what view we want to see we want to see a report view that's it simple as that so we debug it save it close it now let's move on to this button so with this button we are going to open this report which means only one criteria we have to pass on and that is fiscal year so we'll set that logic in a vba coding so we'll say of course uh, on error resume next that comes always first oops <laughs> error handling code i copy from here paste in here and we do we say if is null me dot cbo fy dot value oops, equals true and then do cmd dot beep message box please choose the year simple comma we be critical comma information that's it that's the criteria and uh, we'll say do cmd dot open report and we'll say payroll payroll mr okay that's the report and we want to see in a report view that's it done 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 we are done with that let's close it now let's go ahead and test it out and uh, let's click here let's say please choose the year now it should ask month and it does so we choose month and it should open the report now okay so we're getting the information for 2022 august 2022 august for all the employee awesome now let's run this report and boom we are having a problem parameter entry and uh, that is not good let's go here and uh, let's see what's the issue here okay mm, interesting what's the issue okay if i move yeah we're getting the year id and we're giving the correct reference yeah it is actually it is asking oh have i given uh, parameters here no nothing i'm just diagnosing why that uh, weird error comes in let's uh, run the report again oh it might be i've done something here yeah this is where is the problem so that's why uh, see this is how you should be able to diagnose right and you'll be able to do that if you will work again and again again and again you get these errors you try to look for this 
reason why we are getting this error and uh, that's how you see i immediately caught so the query was running perfectly that means the issue was with the report and then i went into the um, id column uh, see that's the problem now we are getting not from january we're getting from april and january is coming in between so we had that grouping or sorting by id column that's why um, so it's not uh, so when we changed i'll explain you i'll explain you again so when we changed this from id to year uh, or from id this this is the id this is where we were um, you know i changed it to m which means month and that's why you know it didn't sort properly and that's why it didn't recognize and it gave us error hey i don't know where the id exists so in here we will go again and we'll say sort it by month and now from smallest to largest okay i don't know whether you have understood <laughs> what i explained but i kind of you know um, see now we are getting from january till december so basically we had I'll show you again. We'll go to design view. We had sorting that was set with ID field. Now we changed that ID with M because that ID represented month. So once we did that in the sorting, the ID was not recognizable anymore. So that's why when we run the report, it shows us, hey, I don't find this ID. So how do I sort this? Uh, you have asked me to sort it so i don't find it how do i do that so i came in here i deleted that sorting and then we ran the report and we saw that the january was in between and it was all basically messed up so then i realized oops i have deleted that id from the sorting because i have changed that id to m so i realized that quickly and i went back to the report and i ran this report now it is working perfectly okay so you got to work a lot on these reports and max of access so you know you can actually do the re-engineering to do the diagnosis of the problems that's the benefit of the repeated working on max of access all right now let's uh, do one more thing so what i would like to do all right we have this uh, nice dashboard i would like to open that report center when user clicks here remember user will see only this dashboard so we have to provide a option for users so they can click and they can get the report center and they can run the reports so let's go ahead and do that we'll go to design view we'll go to the report center even tab dot 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 and in here we'll say uh oops <laughs> We'll say do cmd dot open form which form the form name is report center and that's it essentially um, you don't have to do anything else it will open with this line of code so you close that now if we will go to the form view let's say you are here uh, you're looking at the profiles of the employees and we have another issue here um, Okay, but anyway, we'll, we'll see why that issue has come. So you're looking at the profiler of employees and now you want to run some reports. You click on report center and you just choose the criteria and you just run the reports. That's it. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to do and that's what I wanted to share and demonstrate. And so it should be easy for anyone actually who have authorization to run the report center now this is a simplistic the most simplistic report center um, of course you have applications where you have um, authorizations as well so some people will have authorization to only maybe run this report a uh, very few people will have authorization to run these two reports so based on the authorization level you actually decide which report should be run by which role and that of course is a bit advanced version of course we will cover in some other videos but this is how generally you create a report center you link this report center with uh, different reports by using buttons drop downs and um, 
you link this report center to the dashboard as well i hope that you have learned something even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below and if you liked whatever you have seen smash the like button and um, that's it for today i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye